Well, new to Ascot this year, new to Champions Day is the Alpine Bar, which is a whole enclosure right at the bottom of the grandstand. You can see right on the left-hand side as you look at the grandstand is this big enclosure of the Alpine Bar. And have a look at it. What a, what a great place to come. Of course, in Alpine style, it's all about Bratwurst, Glühwein and Steins. And delighted that Neil Phillips or the, uh, the wine tipster is here. Um, Neil, funny to find you down here next to a bar uh, on race day. Very unusual, Ali. But here we are. And what a great space this is. It's absolutely fantastic. Just near the one furlong pole. Come on down, folks. It's brilliant here. Hang on. I think I'm missing something. Oh, you this are. This is yes, it. You are. This yes, is what I need, of course. Nice. We should be a look at that. Very stylish. We're just getting in the mood here. Alpine day coming here. Come on inside as well, folks. I tell you what, it's lovely and cosy inside as well. It Beautiful. Is. On a day like today, I mean, usually usually Steins do it, the, the trick at Ascot, yeah. but today Glühwein might be in order. It might be in order, most definitely, but it was great. A lovely feel here. It's so cosy, and I think, you know, it's a new feature here, and I love it. And look, we've got a couple of Steins, and we've got some fantastic sausages to taste as well. I was going to say, just come and have a look at this. Look at those. I mean, they look brilliant, don't they? And they wash down with a big Stein like that. This is the place to be. It most certainly is. And I mean, actually, this is a beautiful lager here, this Polana. It's lovely lager very famous. Some of us would have been to Oktoberfest, for example, had a brilliant time there. And we also know, in terms of this sausage here, where we've got this smoked pork and ham, looks absolutely delicious with a bit of tomato on there, some mustard as well. And we know Germany's so famous for all their sausages as well. And it has to be said, a lot of the time I'm talking about food and wine pairing, and here I am talking about lager and sausage pairing. Job done. You're a connoisseur of food and wine and, and, and alcohol generally, I guess, <laughs> with beer as well, but also the horses. So, come on, you must have been keeping a, an eye on what's happening on the track. Um, who are your sort of fancies for the day? Well, I've always followed Ribchester from his second run as a two-year-old. He's my favourite flat horse. I want to see him win again today. We know he's won at Ascot before. And what is so wonderful about Ribchester, he's won on quick going and he's won on soft going as well. So I'm all behind Ribchester today. We've got the fantastic Harry Angel. He will win today as well and I think you know there's so many fascinating races here and also with the champion series race Cracksman Barney Roy who's going to win there or is another horse actually going to win that race instead maybe like Poets Word who was certainly like the soft going that's for sure a bit one of an outsider of course Ribchester and uh, Harry Angel favorites for their race you must have a, a really good sneaky outsider big price for us today well I think in the bar, bar moral handicap at the end of the afternoon Lord Glitters is four to one I think he's going to win but I'm very interested in speculative bid about 16 to one there came back, ran here a couple of weeks ago, hadn't run for over two years, finished seventh. He can do a lot better than that today. He's a very, very talented horse, and 16 to 1 is a really good each-way bet in the Balmora handicap. I love this part of the day. Before racing takes place, you can just sort of... The hope is there. You never know what the, the day is going to unfold and how, uh, how your sort of fancies are going to get on. So I think we should just... Uh, Give a Come cheers on, for the rest of the day, shall we? we? Yep. Let's, let's just hope day. we uh, have a successful day on and off the track. We will. <laughs> cheers.